So I'm Ethan Bennett, and my company is Honey Tree Apiaries. And uh, I raise bees and produce honey that I sell at the farmer's market. I um, also rent my hives for pollination to farmers in the valley and um, have a honey bee removal company. Cool. All right, so these are your and bees. So this is a typical beehive. This is. This is the system that I'm working towards, which okay. is kind of these all the same size boxes, and this is a um, this is an eight frame box. Mm -hmm. Most beekeepers use a ten frame box. Okay. So um, if this is two inches narrower, which is good for space, and it's also good because it's a lot easier to lift up. Because mm -hmm. when you get that weight out from your center of gravity gets difficult. Why are they blue? I like, I just kind of came up with blue. You like <laughs> and blue? And now I'm trying to stick with blue. <laughs> and I feel like yeah. it's kind of a signature. So Really? Okay. I'm the guy with the blue beehives. Okay. And people cool. will recognize that. Okay. I think in most cases is good. In some cases... They call and say, your, uh, your blue, <laughs> your bees from the blue beehive bit me. Yeah, right. <laughs> so sometimes you don't want to be noticed. And sometimes yeah. you want your hives to be hidden because, yeah. you know, there's people that are afraid of bees. You're kind of in their path. <laughs> so I can I can hear this thing just buzzing. Like how many bees are in that, that yeah, whole so thing right there? So a like this would have forty to 60,000 bees. Forty to 60,000? Yeah. Oh wow. And, okay. Um, oh wait, four to six. Forty to sixty. Oh wow, that's crazy. Yeah. Okay. So it's a, <laughs> it's a lot. I mean, maybe this is a little smaller. This Can you is, open that up? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Is, it's a little dangerous uh, to do this. Okay. Without some protection, so um, a little aggressive looking. Oh. I could I could get you a veil to wear in a minute or something if we want to really look in there. That's okay. But so what I have here actually is the first two boxes. These two are called the brood chamber, mm -hmm. and that's what the bees will exist in those boxes okay. all all year long. Okay. Um, this box here is a honey super. Okay. So that's designed for collecting um, surplus honey. Okay. And so they brood down there, which is they they is, are br yeah. breeding. Well, yeah, so this is where they're raising their larva, and um, okay. the queen is down there. Um, so there's there's one queen in each hive, okay. and um, the queen is the only um, real female in a hive. She has all the reproductive parts that a female animal should have. Um, these other bees, these bees that you see out here are workers, and they're, they're female, but they, they can't reproduce. They just don't have the right organs. Okay. Um, they can lay eggs if they need to, but mm -hmm. they usually wind up um, sterile. Hmm. Um, and the sterile egg produces a drone, which is a male bee. Okay. Which, which is necessary for the hive, but um, doesn't do much to perpetuate a hive. You know, uh -huh. if they laid all drones, they would die quickly. Um, drones don't collect honey. They don't. They don't do anything except for eat honey and mate with the queen. <laughs> so how do you feel about drones? Purpose. How do I feel about them? Yeah. Well, they are the male, so I have to kind of <laughs> side with them a little bit, but they're really a... a they're really worthless. <laughs> they're really a negative effect on the hive. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, uh. yeah, so the... Um, so what are they doing right now? So these bees... These are returning bees, which have been out foraging for nectar and pollen, and um, essentially just coming in with that nectar, and they what they do inside there is they trade it off to another bee who decides um, what to do with it, which mm -hmm. may be turn it into honey. They make wax out of it, which they, um, which is their, their honeycomb, is all made out of wax mm -hmm. produced from nectar, mm -hmm. um, and they feed the brood, the young larva, with the nectar and the pollen that they bring back. Mm -hmm. And they actually, they mix the pollen and the nectar differently. They, they ingest it and they have certain glands in their head. I mm -hmm. can't remember the name of them right now, but they, um, in those glands, they turn pollen and nectar into brood food. 
which is kind of a... Brood food, that's brood cool. Food. Yeah, <laughs> it's a <laughs> kind of a white, milky liquid that huh. they, um, they, do, you, they place it in the bottom of the cell with an egg or a larva, and the larva ingests that and hmm. grows and until it gets big enough that it can go out and feed itself.